Hi guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Symphonia. We're here in the research, uh, well, it's like a college town, uh, of Cybac, and we learned that we need to find a, um, a key crest for Colette in order to, uh, turn her to normal. Because all Crucis crystals are, are in advanced form of x -fears. And that's what she wears. Let's talk to everyone. I'm hungry. This fish looks really delicious. Such a waste to mount it. It's a pretty creepy looking fish, huh? But the oil from this fish is valuable ingredient for casting magic. Cool. Magic is the process of slightly all accelerating the action of summon spirits. Cool, cool. We're researching the possibility of artificially storing magic spells. Our first objective is to seal spells into scrolls for practical use. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, that reminds me. I wonder, like, how much it, because they were talking about how that fish uh, was making oil, right? I wonder how, like, how much oil the uh, human body produces on like a daily basis. Interesting, hey? And I wonder if it's like the same kind of oil that you know, like runs cars and stuff. I, I'm sure it's a different kind of oil. It's I think it's more akin to um, like vegetable oil than it would be to like oil oil that we use to like run our cars and stuff. Petroleum oil, rather. Please don't go into the basement. There are no hidden laboratories. What? It's locked. Well, you wonder what all that's about, huh? I'm sure we'll find out. Anyways, there's kind of like a cafeteria around here. Oh, I think I went into all these already. Yeah, like I said, there's a cafeteria around here. These are these creatures that flourished long ago are surmised to have perished when they were unable to cope with rapid changes in the environment. In order to survive, living things must be able to adapt. Um, so that's basically what happened on our planet, Earth, except uh, we didn't have dragons like that. I mean, we had dinosaurs, but they didn't have wings like, well, dinosaurs did turn into birds, so they kind of sort of did have wings. They say if you consume DHA, you'll get smarter. It's so, like, is that like Omega-3? <laughs> Omega-3, that's like a fat, isn't it? There's a separate stomach for cake. That's true. I mean, you're always hungry if there's cake around. Investigating spell casting cost reduction and magical effects. Just can't enjoy my food when my report isn't finished yet. You can get like lots of ingredients for cooking here. This would probably be the best place to go right now for ingredients. But I'm not gonna buy any. Doesn't it? Doesn't it taste pretty good for a school cafeteria? And this is more of the uh, fruits, bread, and uh, seafood. So, yeah, buy some if you want to, like, start cooking and stuff. Hey, I didn't talk to this guy, did I? Whenever I'm stuck in my research, I try to be alone. Do you think this is the correct solution to this equation? Sorry, I should have known better than to ask you. Hey, I could, uh, I might be smart enough. I could. Hey, I think I'm stuck. <laughs> hey, I never knew there was something over here. Oh! Thoughts for this magic that attracts people. Do you think melons are fruits or vegetables? Do you mean like pheromones or something? I wonder if I can extract the charm of flowers by magic. Eau de toilette? <laughs> if I light a candle or a torch, does that mean the summon spirit of fire exists here? No, not really. Seems there are plants that prey on small animals. Venus flytraps? I'm doing research to achieve the greatest yield possible from crops. 
Oops. <laughs> Ooh, I got the hiccups. Science is formulating theories based on data and then verifying them. But there is some phenomenon that cannot be scientifically explained even when there is data, such as Jinx. Observations that ignore existing theory lack persuasion. Don't you agree? You cannot discover the hidden truth if you cling to conventions. Don't you agree? I agree that you have to think outside the box in order to come to answers that wouldn't relatively be known. Oh, these hiccups are gonna be the death of me. I get them pretty often. Does that mean like I'm like gonna die early or something? <laughs> Ugh. I thought I read that somewhere. If you get hiccups often, you will die early. Anyways, Keycrest. Talk to this guy. What's this place? Are you s all you're selling is junk? It's marvelous. This is just marvelous. Oh, this is ancient magic technology. Carbon. There she goes again. All right, come on, please. Look for something that looks like a Keycrest. There, it's Keycrest. What? You want this piece of ju junk? Yeah, how much? 10,000 gold! Taking advantage of people in need. This is a business after all. Okay, call the, one, call the one responsible for this bazaar right now. I'll make sure he can't do business anymore. Who are you? You got some guts to be ignorant of the great Zealous, the Chosen. Chosen? Please take this junk. Uh, I mean, I humbly offer this up to you, so please forgive me. Good, good. I like your attitude. I'll remember you. <laughs> Thanks, Zelos. It was nothing. It was for my cute Colette. Okay, I'll borrow a lab at the Academy and fix it. Now, don't get me wrong, alright? I am all for businesses doing business. But sometimes it has to be tempered with compassion. Sorry to bother you, but could I borrow a lap? He wants to make a key crest. Oh, chosen one. Please make use of that room you were in earlier. Blech. What was the room we were in? Was it this one? I forget. Nope. Next one? I'll repair the key crest, so just wait at the entrance. Sure, sure. Okay, I think this will do. Because I don't know, there's just something about putting a price on a human life that's just cold. Huh. I didn't think I'd be giving you your birthday present like this. I attached a key crest to your necklace. It's late, but it's my present for you. Colette? Can you hear me? How is it? It does, doesn't seem to work. How about asking Dirk for help? But Dirk's in Silveron, and Riards are out of fuel. Maybe the people here at the Academy might know a way. Hey, 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 wait just a moment. Aren't you forgetting something? I'm here to keep tabs on you. I can't let you go back to Silveront. Well, then, just come along with us, oh compassionate chosen one. What? Are you serious? You're kind of girls, right? Yeah, it's Steve Colette. You'll keep quiet about it for us, right? Great. How am I supposed to snitch after hearing that? Okay, then all we need now is fuel. 
Chosen, we heard that you what you said just now. We hereby declare you and your companions to be traitors attempting to destroy Tethael. <laughs> well, that was perfect timing, Mr. Popple Knight. Papple? Popple? That's by the Pope's orders. We are to watch you for suspicions of plotting against the throne. Now that's amusing. I'm the one who's plotting against the throne. <laughs> Restrain them and take a sample. Don't touch the angel. If you approach her carelessly, she'll kill you. Well, we're in trouble. Ow, what are you doing? Criminals undergo biological tests before they are arrested. It's because of the caste system here. Some half-elves don't look any different from humans. It's necessary to detect them. Sister, we... F so, sir, we found a match. Tina's professor. So you're half-elves. Half-elves? Is that tr true? That's right. Rain. There's no point in trying to hide it now. These pathetic half-elves have engaged in sh shameless caste deception. What did you say? The professor and genus are much better people than you. Who cares if they're half-elves? I don't know what's like in your world, but over here, half-elves are at the bottom of the caste system. Half-elves guilty of crimes are all executed without exception. That's insane! Take them away. Professor Genus! Change in plans. Half elves can use magic, so we must keep them under heavy guard. We don't have we don't have any spare forces. We'll return to the bridge and call for reinforcements. As for the chosen and the others, just lock them in the basement or something. I'm gonna have to take a drink after this, cause ugh, these hiccups are killing me. Who's there? <laughs> don't speak to us, half elf. Be quiet and continue your work. They are criminals. Hold them here until we return for them. Criminals? If you had the good fortune of being born human, don't throw it away like that. We haven't done anything. Well, you did try to go back to Silverant. Sh shut up! <laughs> ah, get away. Prisea? You're Prisea. Why are you here? You know Prisea? I, I... She's... A half-elf in the Imperial Research Academy is acquainted with the human child? <laughs> That's strange. Why? I told you, half-elves are treated like garbage in this world. The half-elves that work at the Imperial Research Academy never leave their labs. Ever. That's insane. Alright, I'm gonna take a drink. Just read without me. <laughs> this hiccups are gonna guilt me. Oh, okay, I think that's much better. Oh boy. If allowing them to slowly feed on a human body. Wait, what? That's the same way the designs made X spheres. What? What are you talking about? I'm saying, how can you treat people that way? I could ask you the exact same thing. How can you humans treat half elf lives the way you do? I treat them the same as everyone else. There's no difference between the lives of humans and half-elves. He isn't from Tethiala. Ninja appearance! It's Corin. Ninja appearance! It's Sheena! He's the strange one who, is, who was raised in Silverout with half-elves and a dwarf. Sheena, how did you know we... I'll explain later. Genus and Rain are being taken to Maltokyo. If we go after them now, we should be able to save them. Are you planning on running away? Are you going to try and stop us? He's going to save his half-elf best friend. What are you going to do, Miss Half-Elf? I, I, I won't let you trick me. There's no way a human would save an elf. But Kate, I did hear they arrest two half-elves up above. There's no time. If you're going to get in our way, we'll just have to fight you. Fine, I'll let you go if you promise that once you've saved your half-elf friends, you'll come back here. 
If what you said is true, I'll release Persea from her experiment. You promise? I swear upon the name of the goddess Martel. Okay. Then, come over here. There's a hidden passage. You can escape to the surface through this door. Thanks. Hurry, we need to head for the bridge. By whose order was per se experiment carried out? I can't say. The Pope, then. Hmm. Zelos, come on. I know, I know. Sheesh. Alright, we got Sheena back. Woot, woot. Alright, so we know that Persea had uh, some experiments uh, on her carried out here, but how did she end up here at the lab? Hmm. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to find out. So we have to go. Whoa! I just missed that skit. Doesn't that suck? Can I go back in? Come on. No, it looks like I won't be able to see whatever skit that was. Just so you know, the game does take a uh, tally of all your skits. All right, here we go. Yay, Colette. She really doesn't respond to anything. Hey, you aren't doing anything funny to her. What? No, of course not. Because it wouldn't surprise me at all if you did something. What do you mean by that? You tried peeking at me in the shower before. <laughs> That was just natural curiosity toward the unknown. <laughs> oh, brother. This angel transformation definitely doesn't look like something I'd want to go through. Hmm. Yeah, because it doesn't Dallas have a Crucius crystal. I mean, wouldn't the same thing happen to him? Crazy. Alright, anyways. We have to go save Rain and Genus. But we'll do that next time. So Godspeed, stay frosty, guys. See you later. Bye.